in the name of God who sends the dawn's light across the horizon and sends a surge of power to wake you up from sleep only to touch your eyes with a thousand beautiful colors. My sisters and brothers of Syria, we each need a home because half of the country has lost their home. There's no chance we'll get our homes back if the borders are closed. We cannot get food when the borders are closed. We have been cut off from the world because some corrupt leaders have control of the world. We need to take control of the world out of the hands of bad leaders. We can't be cut off from the world because it's causing starvation. We cannot be at peace in these tents. We cannot run a sophisticated business from a tent. We cannot increase our possessions until we have a shelter to put them beneath. The economy, the family business, the home for the family, the family dinner table are being starved by this one act of closing off the borders. We have become very tired and sick because of the closure of the borders. Who is closing the borders? Leaders of world powers of oil and gas, leaders who have trillions of dollars from oil and gas and never invest it in the country. They have pipelines running through our cities, pumping billions of dollars of revenues for the presidential palace. We need payment for the destruction of our property. We asked him to invest in the country, in the economy back in 2011. He wanted us dead for that. He spent 10 years battling us only to take back those pipelines and facilities. The occupation countries have come only for gas and phosphate. They came with diggers, pipes, and dump trucks. They used the money to pay an army to stand guard around the drilling and mining property. They are a handful of companies that make business deals with governments for the natural resources of the country. They are always companies affiliated with presidents. Syria is our home. Syria is not a battlefield. We want the bombs stopped. We want the borders opened because it's cutting off the life to Syria. My brothers and sisters, we need homes and the homes have been destroyed. We must open the border to get the material we need to rebuild the homes. Life in Syria is cut off until the day that those borders are opened. Allah Akbar.